Hey, what's going on guys? It's David Avalon and once again we're doing a match review. This time it's with Jason Suarez. Now I believe he's in the finals of this tournament. That we had looked at a previous match and uh, they're about to get started here. Right away the guy doesn't hesitate to shoot and Jason goes right into a guillotine. The person's able to pass over and they're still fighting for this choke but then he switches off. And uh, I'm going to stop it right there. So now you can see his opponent sets up the high crotch and shoots in kind of blind, which gives Jason a nice headlock. He switches right away to an arm inside guillotine, jumps the hook in, does a nice job of blocking the proper side, and looks like a really tight choke. Now his opponent, if you see there, he's actually stuffing the knee to pass, but to the same side as his head, which is normally not a good deal but if you notice he's holding his hip up here which prevents Jason from mounting and now allows him to roll all the way to his knees and his head's no longer in the right side and Jason ends up now like as you see they start to scramble a little bit but Jason's leg is no longer controlling his hips and now he's almost uh, side mounted it's at this point where Jason uh, wisely abandons it and starts looking to hunt for the Kimura now from the Kimura, his opponent was really quick to counter, look for that arm bar. Uh, Jason saw that coming though, was able to stack here, and uh, you can see his elbows escaped. And now uh, he was able to uh, compose himself, and you can see his opponent going for the triangle. Uh, Jason's posturing well. Uh, good action by the two of these guys here. And now we're a little bit of a lull of action. So we'll rewind that real quick. So replaying that, Jason's hunting for the Kimura, but he's a little slow to get the grip, and his opponent quickly responds by circling for that counter armbar. Jason can see that coming though, and he's keeping his head, preventing from getting hooked too well. And as he's doing that, he's stacking. And because his opponent's right leg is not over the rib cage, it's hard for him to prevent that stack without that abdominal pressure. Now Jason's just staying really tight, keeping his hands locked. And he should be trying to put as much weight on his opponent's legs as possible. Right there, you see he puts a good amount of weight. The bottom leg is now out of position. And he's pretty much out of the arm bar. Although, right now it's gone, right? Arm's completely out. The only thing now is to watch for the triangle. Although, the, his opponent's right leg is still in between, like a butterfly guard. At any moment, it could pop out. And you see his opponent's thinking about it. He puts the leg over his neck. And then Jason starts to... Uh, posture up and you see now the legs free but with the posture so high like that very unlikely you'll get triangled and he's going to posture up a little bit more right now and at that point his opponent knows that's pretty much out of the picture and uh, they reset positions shortly moving forward now Jason's working in his open half Staying low on the hips, his opponent is looking to try to get a frame, and he's controlling Jason's wrist as well, perhaps hunting for a Kimura of his own. And that's what it definitely looks like, but Jason's keeping good pressure with his head. Now they resume, and then Jason switches sides. And right here, you're going to see he controls the foot very smart, and that allows him to get the pass right there. So rewinding it, you see Jason's in the butterfly guard. He's going to go for a jump pass. Um, he could have done a better job controlling the legs here and you can see he didn't really get all the way past he only got like a, into an open half but he's still able to make this work he does a big back step clears the legs so now he only has to deal with that shin and you can see right about now he's going to hook and control the top of the foot and I love this type of grip here because his uh, thumb is in front there's no easy way to break this grip and Jason can use this to stretch his arm out I'm sorry stretch his leg out and get past that knee and uh, that little uh, china wall that his bottom opponent is setting up uh, different than normal grips that you would do but very effective when you grab this way as you're gonna see right now when we go back into action here Jason starts to stretch the leg out which then allows him to get the side control now moving forward uh, Jason's working on side control here. His opponent is trying to set up frames. Uh, Jason doing a good job keeping his base wide, preventing his opponent from uh, recovering his guard. 
but he's sitting a little bit lower than I would like. Uh, he needs to start transitioning to a higher side control. His opponents established an underhook, but uh, Jason's doing a good job of stuffing it. His opponent's also controlling his foot, trying to recapture his guard, and he's almost there. But Jason's doing a good job of trying to keep it in, but at this point, Jason really hasn't established an attacking position from the side control yet, although he may have scored the points. His opponent's doing a good job of keeping him busy and not letting him uh, get to an attacking position. And now Jason let goes of his leg. He starts trying to climb up the body. And uh, at this point now, he's recovered his guard. He's looking for that guillotine again. Jason takes advantage, jumps over, passes again. And uh, yeah, it's quasi half guard here. And boom, Ooh, another pass. And now they're going to reset there. But as you can see, uh, Jason didn't allow his opponent to lock his hips down for that, that close guard for the guillotine. Just constantly kept jumping, 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 keeping that pressure. So now we're resetting here. Uh, Jason got a good reset there because he's, he's pretty high now, which is where he wants to be with that side control, the chest on the shoulder line. And he's also using his shoulder. If you can see there, he's turning his opponent's chin sideways, making it very hard for him to bridge. And it's just a miserable place to be because uh, it's really hard to do anything. But Jason makes a little bit of a mistake here with that step over, I believe, because now he's stepped over into a half guard. Yep. Um, you have to be careful when you're doing that step over. But Jason is looking to unhook, try to pass. But his opponent has established his half guard once again, but he's looking for that guillotine. So kind of a mistake for him, if you notice, every time he goes for that guillotine, he's giving up that pass. Oh, and now, big mistake there. Oh, and he gave him the mount, which set up the arm triangle. Now his opponent has tapped out. Let's review that sequence again. So Jason tried to mount from the side mount and ended up giving up a half guard. And then his opponent went for that guillotine. But it's not a good decision to lock up a guillotine from bottom half, especially when the head's on the wrong side. Because your hands are now occupied, you have no framing, and it's going to make it easier for your opponent to pass. And now in this case, he tries to recover by turtling, giving up his back here momentarily before he realizes that and turns back. But by turning back, now he gave up a quasi mount of, and at this point he's also trapped his arm into an arm triangle you can see now jason's mounted but he crosses over to get the optimal position here and now he looks like his opponent has telephone meaning like he's grabbing the back of his own neck so jason's focusing on shoulder pressure there and by using that shoulder to grind in he's able to finish the choke a lot of people don't realize that even when the opponent grabs the back of their neck, you can still tap them out. Uh, the type of pressure you're generating now is downward shoulder pressure, which is similar to what you would do with a north-south choke here. Just imagine inverted. And uh, that's how Jason was able to finish that arm triangle, even though his opponent was doing the proper defense. And that wraps this match up. So another submission victory for FFA. Arm triangle. Uh from Jason Suarez. I hope you guys enjoyed that and you learned something from it. Until next time, signing off. And as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to write them down below and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks and take care. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and leave a comment below. Now, if you wanna get more weekly videos right into your YouTube inbox, subscribe to my channel now and for even more blog articles and videos you can visit my website which is davidavalon.com and you can also learn more about my courses there